In this video I show you how to make this colorful motion blur effect that you see on the screen inside of After Effects. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming tutorials. Let's go! So we create a new composition and we use that settings, click OK and we go to rectangle tool, left click and hold, go to star tool and make sure that you uncheck this stroke. So alt click on this one and then uncheck it and make sure that it has a fill to it and by pressing shift holding shift we draw a star just like that and then press enter to rename this to star close this extra settings and now we wanna select pen tool and we can check stroke for this one and uncheck fill so i alt click on it and then uncheck fill and set a stroke to it and now we can start drawing our path. So something like that. And then we can press enter, rename this to path. And now we can open the settings for path, go to contents, shape one, path one, and then select this control C to copy, and then go to star layer, press P for position, and then paste the path that we copied to position so ctrl v to paste and if you play this you can see our shape is animating and we could either animate the rotation here or just use some type of cheat by but before that we wanna i wanna select the first keyframe press f9 same for the last one f9 so we get a smoother animation and we were talking about some type of cheat so we right click rather than animating rotation we go to transform and then check this one auto orient so click on it and then choose orient along path so we get it rotating just like that and we can duplicate this so ctrl d to duplicate move it down move the star lay it down and we go to effects and presets type in echo double click on it to add to the second star layer and we want to change this to minus echo time change it to minus zero period zero zero six so we get a closer look to it and we want to change the color to an orange as well for the second one and we can change the number of echoes to 40 and decay we change this to zero period 68 i mean 86 and we get this look to it, go to effects and presets, type in Gaussian Blur, double click on it to add and increase this to around 18. Check this one, repeat edge pixels and Ctrl D to duplicate it, move it down and change the color of it to blue. Some type of blue. And for this, we increase this to zero period 92. So we get this look to it. And we can add motion blur to all of this to make it even stronger. I'll uncheck this 